of the Italian Peninsula has never raised a sword against Muslims. The Western Empire had fallen and the Muslims invaded anyway. No, they didn't. So this That's idea, true. this idea, this revisionist idea that jihad is only defensive is an apologetic narrative created by Muslims. I don't agree with that, by the way. It's not classical, defensive. Classical Muslims, as I think he's about to admit, yes. classical Muslims saw jihad as offensive, yeah. i.e. they will invade the lands of others. Yeah, yeah. And when they invaded the lands of Christians, and I compliment him for his honesty, he said, yes, yes, i.e. I'm not lying like these buffoons here call me a liar. He's just contradicted you. He's just contradicted we're gonna, you. We're going to add on to it. So, they invaded Christian lands, including Christian Byzantium. Let him talk, let him talk, please. And when they did, they desecrated churches. They turned churches into mosques, like they did at Hagia Sophia, and like they did at so many other churches, and have done for 1,400 years. They never paid Christians any compensation. They took Christians as slaves by their millions across Eastern Europe during the ISIS of its time, the Ottoman Empire. You need to learn your history to see the lies of the apologists like Ali Dawa, who try to sugarcoat Islamic jihad and suprem supremacism and So, 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 when you see it for what it is, the question for us Christians then becomes, do we have a right to stand up against an oppressive, aggressive ideology called Islam? And the answer is yes, we do. And so I do. But, but, do I think that every Muslim is a jihadi? No. Do I think that every Muslim wants to see Islam dominate? No, I don't. And so those Muslims who don't buy into the ideology of Islam, but have basically compromised on their faith, and that they want to live in peace, I say be friends with those Muslims. But these kinds of Muslims, the Ali Dawa kinds of Muslims, subscribe. You have to stand up against them. You have to stand up against what they believe in. And however they bring the fight to you, you have to be willing to take the fight to them in like manner. I'll be very quick because I know I've talked for a long time. Turning the other cheek has nothing to do with pacifism. If you want to do a Bible study on it, we can do one right now. Furthermore, the idea as Christians, the idea as Christians that we should simply allow injustice to be carried out without a word or action against it isn't Christian. We're called as Christians to stand up against injustice and Islam practices injustice in dimitude and slavery in its attitudes towards women and in countless other ways. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, before I carry on, um, oh, I was going to offer you water, but you already have it. Thank you. Uh, and by the way, me offering you water, I'll make it very clear. You, I see you as a hostile uh, person. And uh, let me make it clear. Me offering you water is, doesn't mean that my views on you, or if you was in the battlefield, uh, I would be throwing roses at you. That wouldn't be the case. Let me make that clear. Offering water is that Salahuddin al Ayubi, what he did, what he did when he was fighting the Crusaders. Yeah? And he offered his help to his enemy. But when it came to the battlefield, it was a different story so I just want to make that clear yeah you're a hostile enemy and I see you as an enemy of Allah and I would always see you as that but I want to make one thing very clear yeah as he said I never ever said Islam jihad is only defensive yeah and the jihad that we're talking about here are not individuals 
There's ISIS sympathizers who bloody give me death threats, going and killing innocent people. What you've demonstrated is very categorically clear. I was talking when, about the Ottomans. No, no, no. I, okay. So I'm talking about in general, not these individuals. What you've made very clear is that you, when it comes, when when the things get heated, you will be my enemy, and you would be coming from me. So this notion of we hate the sinner, but not uh, the, the sinner, the sin, but not the sinner, you've just contradicted yourself. And once again, when the Muslim lands, when the Muslims invade lands, there's something very clear in Quran chapter 256. Allah says there is no compulsion in religion. Invading a land and forcing them to accept Islam and desecrating their churches and their places of worship are two separate things. Because if they did it for 1400 years, you would not have Coptic Christians in Egypt. Let's make that very clear. There would be no churches in Muslim lands. So we know very clearly, you don't believe me? Go to Egypt. Let me finish, because this is my last one, because I need to go. Yeah? In about, what, two minutes? Probably well, we seven, eight minutes. One second. So I want to make something clear. When we talk about offensive jihad, offensive jihad, offensive jihad every uh, nation, every empire has gone and tried to take over lands. The difference between them and us Muslims is the following. We do not go there to force people to accept Islam, number one. Number two, we are not allowed to go there and desecrate their churches because the Prophet, peace be upon him, had a treaty in Medina and it made it very clear the following. And this is a treaty you can find uh, 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 online if you search it, yeah? Is it the Pact of no, no, it's not, no, it's not that one. There's another one, yeah? There's one that's fake that's going around. I'm not talking about that one, yeah? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said that the Christians, their wealth, their, uh, their, their, uh, their lives, their churches, and many other things are under the protection of Allah and His Messenger. So now, it's very clear for us that if we go and force somebody to accept Islam, you've gone against a very clear ayah in the Quran, which says there is no compulsion in religion. It is not abrogated as well. So what that means is invading lands and equating that with killing people and getting them to accept Islam is false because Islam forbids that. However, when the Crusaders, and you see this many times, killing, forget Muslims, other Christian denominations, killing them, yeah, so much so that they would ask for help from the Muslims. So let's make something very clear. Offensive jihad is that. Defensive jihad, when God Almighty, when God, when God Almighty tells us, when going to war, because Allah knows, if you do not, if you do not go to war, they're going to come for you. So it's either they come and kill you, or you fight to the fighting men. Because the jizya is implemented on who? The fighting men, not the women and the children and the elderly. So hold on a second. If Islam is going there to force people to accept Islam, why is it that you are allowed to pay jizya? Because the people of the book are closer to us. So much so, and I'll end on this note because I need to go. Yeah, and you can just say that. Yeah? No, no, but he made it. It's my response. It's my finishing statement. He will have a finishing statement. Yeah. When when the Christians, the Romans were fighting the Persians, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned the Quran, and in the Battle of Badr, the companion and the Prophet were rejoicing for two things. They won the Battle of Badr and also the people of the book, the Christians, won over the Persians, which were pagans. The Muslims were happy because the Christians won over the pagan Arabs. Why? Because they're closer to us. We can eat from your food, sorry, and we can marry your woman. So if this was the case, why would we have these regulations where we're happy that you're winning the war, we can marry and eat your food, and we, you're referred to as the people of the book. So I will end on that that note and make it very clear and Bob will have his last statement and we had a nice civil discussion honest on both sides and I'll make that very clear I'm not here to sugarcoat my religion as much as him and I'll end on the note what did he say again I do not hate the sinner but I hate the sin but when it comes to the battlefield he said I won't have a sword I'll have a rifle you'll see me with a rifle yeah watch out for my bullets so so oh, I'm not right. Ali. Ali.